For those of you who haven't worked it out, this is my custom E30 fuel system. It's about as overbuilt as it gets without going to a fuel cell and all that nonsense. We've got a nuke fuel surge tank. Make sure that I never run dry no matter how hard I'm cornering, no matter how hard whatever. We have three fuel pumps from AM, 340 liter per hour, all E85 safe. Two of these will go into the surge tank, one of them will go into the original tank. We have a nuke fuel pressure regulator. This is obviously just to regulate fuel pressure. It's good to get an aftermarket one rather than running a standard one. A gauge to go with that fuel pressure regulator. A new fuel rail. I mean, you upgrade everything else, you gotta upgrade the fuel rail, more flow, all that nonsense. Then we have nuke brackets to go to the nuke fuel rail to go to the M50, and we move into Vibrant. This is uh, all Vibrant hosing and fittings. This is Teflon lines, so E85 safe, not gonna have any of that gas smell when you park the car for a long time. Good stuff, good high quality stuff. I have two sets of it. I have dash eight for my fuel lines and then dash 10 for my oil. These are all vibrant performance fittings. I got 180s, I got straights, I got adapters to go from hard lines to the soft lines. I've got 90s, I've got more straights. That's just a whole grab bag. And you know, I ordered extras of pretty much everything just so I didn't have to go back and order more and wait for them. But all this stuff will be in the description. I purchased everything in this area from torque.io. It's a, a good nuke retailer local to, or in the on state sides, because this is all Swedish stuff. So everything there will go through nuke.io. And then I'll link to the brochures and the vibrant website for all this good stuff. And you can purchase this pretty much anywhere. But I will make a, like I said, a complete parts list for this fuel system in the description. There's a couple of benefits of running a surge tank like this. With a, with a standard fuel tank, when you're driving, the, the fuel can be sloshing around in there and it could get low enough to the point where your fuel pump is actually picking up air instead of fuel and then it's pumping it through the lines. You have rapid changes in your fuel pressure and sometimes you even lose fuel at your rail. And that can have really bad effects if you're, say, drifting or track or autocross or even just spirited driving. Because if you're in a hard corner and you're basically flat out and then your fuel pressure suddenly drops, you could lean out the motor and have some pretty bad, a pretty bad time, basically. You can do some pretty detrimental damage to your motor. So that's the first one. The second one being you can have up to three fuel pumps in a surge tank. And the reason for that is if you constantly run like a very large fuel pump and it's constantly circulating through the car through the fuel rail, you're gonna heat up that fuel a lot and it, cha it actually changes the detonation properties of the fuel that you're trying to, to ignite. So the fuel that you're injecting can get too hot and it can lean out the motor, again, just like having too much air. So in this system, I have one pump that continuously runs and feeds the engine, you know, idling, whatever, 99% of the time. But if I go over a certain throttle position, my ECU sees that and kicks on the second fuel pump. So what I'll do is I'll have enough fuel when I need it, but when I don't need it, I won't be cooking the fuel. So I hope that, I hope that explains it, why I'm doing what I'm doing. and. I hope that you guys check this, do some more research into the products and check out the new products because I can speak for their quality having this in front of me and it is very, very high quality. I think this will help a few of you guys visualize everything. Here's the manifold with injectors and fuel rail. This between the return line, the return fuel line from the fuel rail to the return line that goes back to the surge tank. That is where the fuel pressure regulator goes and it regulates the fuel pressure. This other line next to it, these hard lines are already bent up. This other line next to it is my feed and the feed comes from the surge tank that we put together earlier. 
So one of these is going to be the surge tank, goes to the feed line, goes all the way up to the rail, and then this will be fed, the surge tank will be fed by the AEM fuel pump in the tank. And that's pretty much how it'll go. Here's a closer look at that fuel rail. The brackets just attach, I believe here and here. It's pretty neat. It's got looks like a channel for maybe putting your wiring up in there, which is quite handy. Super high quality CNC'd comes with fittings. This is pretty much how the fuel rail mounts to the actual manifold with the injectors. There's just those brackets that I showed you guys earlier. And then the first thing we'll have to do is change all the wiring so that the clips for these injectors go to the wiring harness of the stock S52 harness. But uh, that's not so bad. It's, it's getting late, I'm gonna call it a day, but fuel rail looks great. This isn't, this manifold isn't fully on there. Just kind of test fitting everything. Fuel rail looks great, wiring looks great. Mike practically did all of it, I'm not gonna lie. He's better with this kind of like wiring than I am. So he helped me out a lot on that. Uh, got some new fittings, I had to get a banjo fitting for this rail because I'm gonna run the stock PCV location, the crank case vent, and it wasn't gonna clear. They were directly competing for space. It's still really tight now, but it's going to work. Next time, uh, I'm gonna do the actual lines, the soft lines from the rail. I'm gonna do the soft lines to the tank. I'm gonna change the pump in the tank and hopefully find a good spot for the nuke a surge tank and then kind of drill that into the into the trunk in there and pretty much be good to go as soon as that's done button up a couple other things and it should be ready for fluids and firing up because now i'll have fuel but uh, until next time guys peace out don't forget to like share subscribe comment
miles aside from us, so I 